Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today I'm checking out an asset on the Unity Asset Store called Biomechanical Mutants. Looks kind of cool, creepy. So let's take a look. So, at first glance, we actually get four, which is fairly decent because it describes itself as mutant, singular, not plural. We get four. However, it's actually the same model, just with a different material attached to it. Quality wise, it's not too bad at all. It looks quite decent, quite high quality considering that it is actually free or at least free at the time of recording this tutorial it does also say in the title of the asset itself so hopefully by the time you see this it will indeed still be free if not remember prices do go up and down all the time on assets so quality wise really good i actually quite like the quality of it it looks detailed it looks great and if we add a bit of uh, post processing if we want to you know you can change how detailed it looks you know that's like a dirtier version of it a slightly different colored version of this uh, mutant but yeah overall quality is really nice quantity wise we get the mutant as we would expect and we also get these ones as well as well as the demo scene uh, you suppose you could count them as extras really because it's only this one that gets advertised so yeah I'd probably count them, even if it's just material and texture, I would say they're the extras to all of this package. So yeah, showcase scene, always good to see. Folders, neatly laid out, always good to see, nice and simple. Uh, we can see here the different skin types there used for the materials. Uh, perfect, brilliant, I love it. You can always modify these as well if you want to. You know, you could go into a little bit more depth and work with the uh, materials change how they look if you want to if you're not happy make it look shiny cool you know that kind of thing so it's customizable to that extent um, again if you want to go that little bit further create your own materials why not because at the end of the day these assets are there for you to download play around with and do what you want to so in that respect yeah quite versatile quite customizable now they do appear to come with animations however I couldn't actually get the animations working as intended um, but that doesn't mean to say that you can't do that anyway um, camera does not want to actually view it correctly for whatever reason uh, but that doesn't matter anyway so yeah I actually quite like this asset if you want to attach your own animations to it you're more than welcome to because they are set out that way so you can attach or create the animation yourself if you wanted to um usefulness i'd say they're quite useful in a lot of different ways if you're going for a sci-fi gritty spooky scary even a survival horror style game these are probably going to fit in really well it's like a stalker kind of enemy i mean you can see what style they're going for realistically just by looking at the face there so yeah i'd say it's going to be quite useful in that style of game and again, the fact that we get a couple of different styles here really adds to that, and I like that. I think it's really good. And obviously, the more bloodier style or messier style on both of them, always good to see. So I really think there's a lot of variance here for you to use in a game. Uh, as I said, it's free. File size is just under 320 megabytes. Now, that does seem a little bit excessive for what it actually is, but... You know, if you're going for a real high quality game, that's not really going to be too much of a problem dealing with that size package. So 320 megabytes, I'd say, yeah, it's probably just on the edge of acceptable. So as you guys know, I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't. And I think I'd recommend this. Not for everybody. Uh, beginners probably would be nice for them to play around with and do this kind of thing to, just to explore what they can do to an asset so it's going to be useful for a beginner in that way but to use it in an actual game and create the animations and animate it yourself maybe you can need a little bit more experience and knowledge in unity but other than that i think these are really nice assets really really nice and i can see them being quite useful in a lot of horror style games so yeah i would recommend this asset so guys have you tried it yourself have you used this in a game if you have let me know what you think of it. Let me know how you've used it and what it's for and what you've done to the asset because I'm always curious what people do uh, use these assets for. And if you've got an asset on the asset store yourself, please let me know as well because I'd love to check it out and possibly review it in one of these little review videos. 
Speaking of which, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and click on that bell icon as well to stay up to date with everything on game development on my channel because I upload stuff like tutorials. I upload indie games, their playthroughs. When my fans have made games, I play them and put them on my channel for you to see. And I think it's tutorials more than anything that people like. But yeah, stay up to date with them just by clicking that bell icon. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Guys, thank you very much for watching.